Woolworths has announced it will fly the Indigenous flag at some key locations despite calls for a boycott of the supermarket giant after their decision not to sell Australia Day merchandise. Andrea Crothers reports. Woolworths has been forced to shut down claims it would be flying all three flags, the Aboriginal uh, Torres Strait Islander as well as the Aussie flag at all of its 1,400 stores. In response to the war over the decision to strip Australia Day merchandise from its shelves. So instead, it will be flying all three flags at its key offices. They're already flying at its headquarters in northwest Sydney. This is in line with its reconciliation policy. Meanwhile, polls released this week by YouGov showing that just one in five Aussies backed opposition leader Peter Dutton's view that Australians should boycott the stores. 14% backed Woolies over its move, whilst 66% had far bigger issues to worry about, and that was the excessive price rises. And joining me live now is Shadow Veteran Affairs Minister Barnaby Joyce. Good to see you, Barnaby. So Woolworths, still making news about Australia Day. Uh, yeah, well, I think we know this trick after their support of The Voice. They're, they're out buying. They're buying, trying to buy virtue to cover up uh, the fact that they're creaming it on the cost of the goods they're selling to people. I mean, it's Brad Braducci, he's no fool. That's his CEO. He's from the Boston Consulting Group. He's on about $7 million a year. So, uh, you know, if you, they want virtue, then give some of your wage to St Vincent de Paul, something like that. But if you decide that you want to change Australia Day into the Brad Braducci Day and the Woolworths Day and that they're actually the government, they, they're playing now in the, in the lane of government, well... That's their call. Maybe antitrust legislation and, and things such as that would, uh, and it, it further inquiries into the price of goods is what's required here. Um, Australia's, Australians are going to have Australia Day. It's a, it's a celebration of the fact that we started as a penal colony and the Aboriginal people, and from those meagre, meagre start, that meagre grounds for which the seed of this nation was planted in its modern form, uh, we've created the most egalitarian nation on earth. And um, that, if that's not worth celebrating, then what is? And it is a reflection of how the modern nation of Australia started. It didn't start with an army. It started with convicts, with prisoners and the Aboriginal people. And what an incredible nation we've created from that seedbed. The Albanese government has failed to formally designate the Hamas October 7 attack on 1,200 Israelis an overseas terrorist act. And that affects how victims' families here in Australia can access support. The government says it's still considering it. I wonder, what's your opinion? What's there left to consider here? Well, if Hamas and the Houthis aren't terrorist organisations, what are they? Charitable organisation. I mean, Hamas went in to another country, a democracy, murdered, raped, uh, de decapitated in the most brutal form, uh, and and put it on some of it, put it live streamed it. I mean, what, you know, the response that's happening now is a response to a terrorist attack. And it's a, a response that uh, is, is, you know, all wars are absolutely brutal. We sh and people hate wars because people get hurt and people get killed and, and it's, they're disgusting. But the fact is, it's a response to a terrorist attack and the terrorists have got to go. And if the terrorists go, you're not going to have any more wars against Hamas, because Hamas won't be there. Um, and the Houthis, are they, this is really important to our nation. This is the shipping lane which so much of our goods go through. And, you know, it's, it really rings some bells that we are unable to put a naval vessel up there. One, one question is why? And the next question is, are you not capable of doing it? And the second question is a really, really important one for Australia, that if we're not capable of getting a vessel up there, I mean, and that's that's pretty scary. Of how's our navy going when you can't actually get a vessel on the sea and into a into a zone to protect our trade routes? Yeah, we've got 20 seconds left. So Australia should follow the US and formally classify the the Houthis as terrorists. Absolutely, 100. percent uh, You know, otherwise, what are you saying? They're a government. I mean, what what is the designation you want to give to them? Yeah, Barnaby Joyce. Thanks so much. Have a good weekend.